there's tough, and then there's rhino tough. Okay, here we are again out at our test blast site, and um, today we're going to do three blasts. The first blast is going to be this unlined cargo bed. So this is a stock standard Toyota Hilux uh, cargo bed. We haven't done anything to it, we haven't lined underneath it, we haven't lined on top of it. Uh, we're going to use exactly the same blast charge, five kilograms of ammonia nitrate. And uh, we're gonna blow this one up first so that we have a uh, test sample that we can compare the uh, other cargo beds to. As you can see in the background here, this was the site. Doesn't matter where we look around the site, we have no cargo bed, it's gone. Um, I must admit, even I'm surprised it's been blown to pieces this much. Just completely mangled, twisted. Uh, it's just a pile of shrapnel, a pile of junk. I, I'm, I'm surprised it's this bad. Okay, now we're uh, gonna do our second blast test for the day. This one, uh, we've actually lined the underneath of the um, cargo bed and we've uh, done some um, major member strengthening using castable urethane uh, that we've developed as part of the Rexar range of products. Then we've lined the top of the cargo bed, as you can see here, we've got a nice solid lining. Um, the product we're using is uh, Rexar 95A version one. Um, I'm gonna be very interested to see this as a comparison now to what we saw on the last test. You can see here on the cargo bed the amount of damage that has been done via shrapnel. Uh, the interesting thing is, even though it's badly damaged the liner on the underside here, you can see how much shrapnel and has been taken in by the liner. But if we remember to back to the last blast where we had an unlined one, that shrapnel just punctured straight through the bottom of the floor. Um, You can see here the cargo bed is still intact. We don't have any splits around the wheel arches here. We have no splits in the front corners. We have no splits on the rear corners. There's no punctures on the floor. Although it's badly distorted, there's no shrapnel has come through that floor. We've basically got a complete cargo bed with a bend in the middle. So I think this is a, this is a pretty good result. Wow. 